Hello everyone and welcome to another royal reading here at Mad World Tarot. We're back to normal service today. I had a bit of a break and a shift of focus over the weekend, much needed. But I'm back at the tarot table with the Mystic Mondays Tarot. For once I'm actually reading with this tarot deck on a Monday. And uh, it's a bit of a shiny, blingy tarot deck and it resonates well for me when I read particularly on Meghan Markle. And we're going to look today at a comment from a very illustrious American author of royal biographies, Sally Bedell Smith. She's been around for a long time. She is an authorized royal biographer and she was speaking uh, in Oxford recently and she has just written a book on King George VI and she made a comment about Meghan Markle being as narcissistic and controlling as Wallace Simpson and said that like Wallace, Meghan also married a weak man. And I think that that is a conclusion a lot of people have come to, myself included. And of course, it is all of our opinions. But I'm going to use the Mystic Mondays Tarot today to look at the power dynamics in the Parkle marriage. I'm not doing a divorce or separation reading. I'm not looking at any of that. We're going to do that next. But now I'm just looking to see past present and future energy who wears the pants in the park or marriage just for fun just to see what's going on there are some strange rumors swirling around about embargoed news and the bbc and everyone wearing black and all kinds of nonsense going around so we're not looking at the nonsense today we're going to look at power dynamics because I think this was an interesting comment from Sally Bedell Smith, narcissistic and controlling Meghan, allegedly and equally allegedly Harry, a weak man. So let's have a look. I don't care what the Parkles think about this. I wanted to know what the universe has to say about this. And uh, I think it's fair, it's time to look at the state of Harry and Meghan's situation. We have spent a lot of time recently, not just me, but the whole world, commenting and speculating about the state of William and Catherine's marriage. Some very ugly rumors going around about that. And so I think it's time to shift focus and look at Harry and Meghan and what's going on with them. So power dynamics, and of course, as always, it is just tarot for fun and entertainment. It is all my opinion and uh, just speculating and just reading energy and disclaimer in the box below. He has been tagging along behind her wherever she has been going recently which is interesting doesn't seem to have much to do on his own account apart from a bit of invictus here and there king of swords in reverse that is our underlying energy of this reading king of swords upright a very intelligent man a man who's in control who's very as i say very intelligent um is it funny when i read that word a weak man there's a subtext there for me in that of, uh, how do I put it tactfully? I don't think I can put it tactfully. Really, a bit of a stupid man, shall we say. And that would be the King of Swords in reverse. As somebody, uh, a bearer of very little brain, really. Um, I think Wallace was smart. I think Meghan Markle is smart. I don't think that either of their spouses can be categorized as smart. So that's uh, what the King of Swords in Reverse is telling me, actually. Um, it's also just, uh, by the way, King of Swords is very much a writer card, at someone at the top of their game, uh, publishing energy, King of Swords. And uh, someone in the reverse would, would be a bit of snark coming from that person, a bit of a throwaway comment I don't know how authorized that comment was behind the scenes. So I'll leave that to you to speculate. But it's an interesting little bit of energy that's bleeding through in that King of Swords in reverse. 
as well. So let's have a look. Past energy, Harry and Meghan. Present energy, Harry, Meghan, what's between them. Future energy, Harry and Meghan. And we are looking at power dynamics to remind you. So we look at Harry and Meghan. Ooh, she's shown up already in the past. Interesting. So Harry has got the Queen of Wands in reverse in the past. And that is somebody who's in her shadow aspect. Queen of Wands is always for me a Megan energy because it's fire sign woman, queen, dominant energy. She's reached the apex really um, in tarot as queen energy. And Queen of Wands is very dramatic, very sexual, very charismatic, but she's in reverse difficult tantrums drama queen um conflict around her using her attributes for her own advantage in her shadow energy so he fell under her spell and i don't mean that she sat with a cauldron and uh, put eye of newt or whatever it is in the cauldron misquoting shakespeare horribly no doubt but I'm saying that he was mesmerized by her, by that queen of wands in reverse. So it's already telling me that her energy was dominant in the past. She has got knight of wands, which would be Harry's energy as lesser knight. She's the queen, but she's in her shadow aspect, dominating him. And he's coming across as knight of wands. And the knight of wands is a volatile energy. It's an erratic energy. Someone who blows hot and cold, really. Someone who's passionate. So he would have fallen for her and he would have been passionate about her to the extent that he would have been quite willing to move uh, with her first of all to Canada and then to America. But hidden away in that Knight of Wands is Africa. The first rumors that trickled out when there was so much unhappiness leaking from the Pahul camp was that they were going to Africa, South Africa to be precise, but they know it was too dangerous and Megan could never live there. And then oops, off to Canada. So there is that. And I think the power dynamics in the past, pretty clear. Let's see, let's look at Harry first of all and see his energy now. Where is he? Four of Pentacles. It's trying to keep things stable, trying to keep in control. But he's got the Princess of Pentacles in reverse in his energy, which is Page of Pentacles or coins in old fashioned tarot, Rider Waite tarot. Um, Page of Pentacles, Princess of Pentacles is about uh, the student in tarot, it's learning lessons and uh, I think he he is struggling to maintain self-control to try and maintain to stabilize a situation that is volatile for him where he's possibly learning some very harsh lessons or hasn't learned lessons equally page of uh, princess of pentacles in reverse um, somebody who is on the wrong side of deals as well, whose deals have maybe fallen through. Because for me, the Princess of Pentacles is about contracts, negotiations, deals, signing things, launching new websites, launching new brands, all that stuff. And we've seen a whole lot of it, but it's in reverse on his side of the scale. If we're talking about a balance of power in the marriage, he looks disempowered here. He looks like he's being iced out of deals. He looks like he's struggling to keep uh, maintain control of the situation. It's also about hanging on to your coin, the four of pentacles, because it's usually depicted as someone clutching a pentacle to their chest. It's the miser card of the tarot. So I think he feels threatened financially in this situation as well, that if he's having to bankroll um, certain brand launches and stuff like that. I don't think he's very pleased about it. A lot of speculation about who's behind American Riviera Orchard. I really have to think my way through those three words. A lot of speculation. It might be Chris Jenner. We'll look at that when I feel like looking at it. Let's look at Megan's energy herself right now. We have the Six of Swords. That's moving on uh, away from difficulty. Oh, we have the Tower in reverse. Tower is a divorce card, just have to say. 
Uh, but we're not really looking at that. We're looking at uh, at um, power energy. Look how the tower and the page of pentacles match. Interesting, energetically. So they've been through trouble, lost deals, rebranding, money issues, maybe hanging on to what's little is left and begrudging is being spent on these new launches, these relaunches or whatever they are. She down here, Six of Swords is needing to move away from difficulty. She's had her tower moment and she's trying to rebuild from a tower. And whatever the tower is, it was drastic and shocking for her. Uh, it could be the state of the marriage. As I say, we're not really looking at that uh, precisely here we're going to look at that next we're looking at just their dynamic between them in terms of who makes the decisions who rules the roost and she's she's been through a big shock I wouldn't think um, I, th I think it's more of an external shock that's come to her unless they have uh, behind the scenes been been maneuvers divorce kind of maneuvers paperwork that kind of thing um, and then they might have come as a bit of a surprise to her and she's scrambling now to reassert herself and get back in um, the driving seat and that would mean possibly having to put some distance between herself and a situation that has gone horribly wrong this is a, pos a position of a person who's very who has been weakened almost mortally wounded and as i say we see what's going on in the outside world we see the deals falling through spotify netflix all the rest of it that very lame thing with lemonada um according to neil sean they're rather surprised that she has just launched a lifestyle brand uh they thought she was going to be focused on making podcasts for them mm. And uh, what else has she done? Sussex.com launched, but to great, you know, fanfare. And there she was at South by Southwest doing all of that. And then all, a, a, a complete shift into something else. So she's scrambling. She's all over the place at the moment, trying to resurrect her brand, her popularity, her authority, both in an outward sense in the world and the deals and all the stuff that's gone wrong and very publicly gone wrong. But we're looking at marriage and power dynamics so something has happened between them that's really took her by surprise with this tower so what is going on between them that's looking at each of them we have the four of cups in reverse and we have the six of pentacles there is an attempt right now between them to just calm things down and remind themselves of where they came from as a couple because a six of pentacles is um sorry i was reading it as the six of cups the six of pentacles is about um balance and who gives what so let me rephrase that um six of pentacles sorry that i got that a bit messed up six of pentacles is about equal give and take power balance as I've been talking about. So that makes a whole lot more sense. Um, there is the balance energy. I'm trying to go back to the balance energy because the Four of Cups is about being bored, apathetic, don't care anymore, dialed out of the relationship. And in reverse, it's telling me that there's a bit of a let's try again and let's try and equalize the relationship so whatever has happened here with this tower card and for him it's a lesser energy of drama and um, uh, ca chaos almost with that uh, princess of pentacles in reverse for her it was massive a big shock a big blow they're trying here to stabilize they're trying to reinvigorate the marriage some level him uh, being dragged around behind her wherever she goes is a bit of an indication of that and equal give and take with the six of pentacles let me not say the six of cups again for some reason it's sitting in my mind i don't know why it's probably around somewhere um it's i'm tired of putting all the effort into this relationship energy you need to uh follow around wherever i go for a bit and show some willing i had to go and follow around you follow around with you at the invictus 
thing in Canada and now it's your turn to follow me around and look interested in what I'm doing. It's not giving me couple manly and love. It's not giving me solid. It's not giving me any of those things. It's giving me almost, let's pretend to be interested in each other. And you'll have your weekend in Canada and then uh, you'll have your weekend or I'll have my weekend in Texas and doing all my stuff. Uh, so it's almost as if it's been uh, managed, it's been put in a spreadsheet and someone has crunched numbers and hours and minutes and said, okay, this is equal. This is how it's going to be. And that King of Swords uh, energy is also lawyers and those sorts of things. Um, so there is energy in here for me that there is big trouble in this relationship, but they're trying to keep it going and they're trying to um, rearrange the 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 cargo in the hold so that the whole thing doesn't tip over and sink basically that's what's going on what's going to happen uh harry future energy oh he's the boss and she oh wow powerful powerful cards coming towards them future energy the emperor is um, alpha male if we're talking about power he's wearing the pants uh he's reasserting himself i think this could be this tower energy there might have been a moment behind the scenes um but this you can't trump the emperor in terms of dominance and so harry is totally reasserting himself in future and uh started off um over uh, uh, smitten by the queen of wands moving to emperor and uh, i won't be crass uh, but it you could be described in quite crass terms um, about what's in her handbag and you know what he might reattach to his his person um, in the future uh, the emperor it's also a royal family card so it could be as a result of a return not to being a working royal it's not cause panic and alarm by saying that but to the shelter the protection of the British royal family in the event of a divorce or a separation but she's got a very powerful card too the judgment card it's an awakening the judgment card it's a realization uh, a, an, an awareness of something it's legal proceedings so it could be some sort of decision that um, there is uh, some sort of legal separation between them certainly possible with that judgment card um it is she might she might realize with that judgment card that she can't do any more in the relationship and that her power has kind of been lost almost to that emperor because it is awareness it's an awakening energy of just what am i doing here why am i still here eyes opening a revelation and uh, a departure to another level or another place judgment has very much that energy normally the um the graves open and the dead rise up to be judged so there is that movement in the judgment card traditionally in the right of weight uh, that isn't really depicted here but you can see doors um gateways of perception you might say with the judgment card and there is journey and there is a journey away we've already got it in her energy with the six of swords it's like this has escalated from six of swords to a massive major arcana six of swords that's what i've been trying to express so that they've got a big moment coming um down the track towards them and I don't see that energy, those two cards sitting together as being a couple that is going to stay together. That's just the way I'm reading it. We're going to look at it uh, properly next in the next reading. But in terms of power and who's got what, he gets all the power, the emperor, and she gets an awareness, an awakening. It's a second coming, a second chance. I don't think it's a second chance for the marriage. I think that's what's going on here. Let's pretend, let's try. Um, but this is, maybe there's even a third marriage in there. So we can see how it's moved. 
the situation. They're both now. From the past where she was clearly in control there to this present situation where they're both under pressure. She's under more pressure than he is. And that is very interesting to see. Much more pressure than he is. Trying to balance it out, trying to get what she feels is her due right now. But ultimately, he's going to win. Power-wise, anyway. So that's it. And uh, thanks for watching. Let's look at the state of the marriage proper in the next one.